Good morning, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So, for today's dining review, I was craving a burger, and I was like googling to see like what's the best burger spots in Orlando. And the uh, Hangry Bison popped up. I have never been here before, but I was looking at the pictures and stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. This restaurant is located in Winter Park. It's in the Winter Park Village, literally like right across from the Regal Theater. So I'm pretty excited to um, eat out here. I came here early on a Saturday morning because usually on the weekends, like, you know, restaurants and stuff gets really packed and I don't want to wait a long time just to get a table. So I came here first thing when it opened up. I'm really excited to eat here and I'm going to show you guys what they have. So let's go have lunch. You know what's pretty cool? They have this huge like chess board um game right in front of the restaurant so it, even if you had to wait you have something to do as entertainment to play and also they have like outdoor seating but probably gonna in each side because the weather is actually cooler it's like 60 degrees i know for some people that's not cold but for us Floridians that's pretty chilly but I'm kind of glad the weather's getting cooler because especially when I'm like walking around the parks and stuff I'm not sweating and the, hu the humidity is gone so I'm, I'm very excited about that it says it's voted the number one um, foodie reward spot on Orlando Sentinel but I can't wait to go in it this is a look at their menu they're famous for all their burgers i'm not sure i even know what i'm gonna get but it's like so much to choose from and this is you can or you can build your own burger that's pretty interesting and this is going to be the inside looking of the bar this is a look at the inside it looks so cool like all the light mobs and then this is their their bar area over here so you can choose wherever you want to sit so i guess we're gonna go sit outside because the weather is beautiful out here so I'm joining with my friend Christopher. <laughs> He's like my foodie friend. So we're we order the bison bear flight. So it's four. You can choose from whatever um, four drinks you want. So the first one we got is the big wave. Then the second one is the biz bism book. And then this one is I forgot what O B P stands for. Orange, orange blossom. Oh yeah, orange blossom. And then the last one is the underduck lager. Um, this bear flight is for twelve bucks. So I'm gonna try one of each and let you guys know how it is because most of the stuff on their drink menu is like whiskey, bourbon, and I'm not really that type of girl. So this is like the closest thing that I probably like. So the first one I'm gonna try is the big wave. Yeah, for this place, think like. You know, you're gonna think like Tennessee type flavor and stuff like that. Yeah, that's nice. It's refreshing. Now I'm gonna go to the Biz Bisman book. The bison. That's what bison. Bison. Oh, sorry, I can't pronounce it right. Bison. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So far, that's not my favorite. It's. I don't know. It's too better for me. Let me see. This one is the O O B P orange. Orange what? <laughs> orange blossom. Orange, yeah, orange blossom pilsner. <laughs> for for um, OBT, orange blossom trail, or this area, you know, known for orange blossoms. So far, I like the first and third one, and then the last one is called the under dot blogger. Oh yeah, hard. Life sucks. It's hard. This one reminds me of like a Corona or Heineken or something. But the first. The, I mean, the first and the third one are my my favorite. My least favorite is the bison book. This one? Yeah. For our appetizer, Christopher decided to get the fried green tomatoes. I have never eaten this before. Don't laugh at me, guys. But, you yeah. know, I'm always willing to try new things. Right. <laughs> You're on. So this is your first time trying the fried green tomatoes as the appetizer. I, like the re reason I wanted to catch this live is because I was saying that <laughs> you know it's American food. Like yeah. Liz is trying American food <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> yeah. But that's all right because you know you have you have ties in uh, outside of America. So it's perfect. So wow. that's not bad at all. It's really good. Have you ever? It is delicious, right? Yeah, it's so good. And that sauce, that white sauce they put on top of it, it blends very well. I like it. That's a great flavoring to it. So then I take it you've never heard of the movie Fried Green Tomatoes. I'm already cooking it. Wow. So while I was eating lunch, I gotta see a doggy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
It's funny, while I was eating at the at the Hungry Bison, I looked, I turned around and I saw this huge, like the biggest, tallest dog I've ever seen. It was literally the size of a horse. I'm like, and it just walked past me. So I gotta say hi. I was like, whoa, that's like the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> So it's so funny, me and Christopher ordered the same thing for our entree. He got, we both got burgers of the week. The only difference is for his side, he got the baked beans. Yeah, so we've got fried onions in there. There's, I think it was cheddar and Munster cheese. So there's jalapenos. Uh, it looks like some kind of bourbon sauce. Uh, so delicious looking. And then for my plate, <clears throat> I opted out to not get fries this time. Usually I always get burger fries, but I wanted the corn on the cob. Yes, I'm kind of weird, but this is what my burger of the week looked like. Look inside of it. Oh my gosh, it got two different types of cheese. They got provolone and then they got um, jalapenos and then what is this again? The uh, onion rings? Onions, yeah. yeah, fried onions. And then I um, got my burger done medium because that's how I like my meat with everything, like steak and stuff. So I'm really excited to get it. It smells good, it looks pretty, so let's go. This is a huge burger. Now I'm going to take a bite into it and let you know how this is. That's some good burger. Oh man, it's so juicy. A lot of flavors in there. <laughs> sauce is good, a spice to it. All right guys, we just finished having lunch here at the Hangry Bison. I was glad I came in earlier because as soon as we sat down, like all the tables around us started to get filled up, which, I'm, which is expected because it's a Saturday. Weekends are normally packed. But anyways, the food came up pretty quickly. Like I said, we both got the, um, we, the, the, the burger of the week, which was the, the, I forgot the name of it. What did we have? So the burger of the week, um, I forget the exact name, but it had, uh, t it was two cheeses. It was cheddar, and you th you thought it was provolone. I think. Uh, I don't I, know. I think it was. I think it was like monster. I forget what you said, but cheddar provolone, perhaps fried onions, jalapenos, and a bourbon, um, a honey bourbon sauce, uh, on a brioche bun. Yep. Uh, so a lot of flavors there. It was good. Uh, one issue is I'm pretty sure that somebody forgot to turn on the heat lamp on the line So like when my food came out. It was pretty cold and I you know from my cooking experience from the beginning of the day I bet you somebody forgot to turn on the heat lamp. So they sat up on the line. I don't know was your corn cold so your corn well, it probably came out of boiling water But yeah, that was my only complaint is that my beans were ice cold You could tell that they weren't even like they sat up on the line uh, not even under a heat lamp, but we did have the fried green tomatoes were delicious. Oh yeah, the appetizer was a lot better than I thought it was. So it's always good to go out of your comfort zone and try something because normally I'm type of, I'm like usually like to order the same thing every time I go to a restaurant, but I'm glad I was able to try something and I actually enjoyed it. So Yeah, no, I was glad that we introduced, you know, something new. It's always you know, cool to try something new. Especially with, with, you know, it being an American food is kind of funny. So yeah. we haven't eaten, a, you know, American yeah. food. So we'll, we'll probably aim to find some more American food that Liz hasn't tried yet in the future. So, right. but if, yeah. she's, if she's okay with that. She likes trying new things, right? So, yeah, so, but, but I really enjoyed my burger. It was delicious. The appetizer was good. Oh, the bear flat we had. I didn't like two of them, but two out of two was yeah. great in so my opinion. I was a fan of the, the, oh, you liked the, oh, the orange oh, blossom. On. Hold oh. on one second. No, go ahead. You like you like the orange blossom pilsner, right? Yeah. And then and I forgot the first one. Forget yeah, the other one. Yeah. And then you didn't like the ones that the darker one. Uh, you didn't like, and uh, the other one was kind of the the uh, foggy one. So that was probably like a shanty or something. So in the future, you probably don't like. Sh I think that was some type of shanty. And then our server Natalie, she had a really cool name because it was spelled different. It was like N A T L I. She was really no, nice. No, Julita. Oh, oh crap. I'm so sorry. I said the wrong name. I'm getting confused. But yeah, she had a really interesting name. Yeah, and I liked her shirt because I thought it said stranger things on it, but it was hanger things. Oh, that was a pretty dope shirt. But yeah, she was really friendly. She was quick. She kept checking and saying, you need anything? Or, you know, it was, it was awesome service. The food was good. Other than that, Tasty. like, yep. besides, like he said, the only issue was that his beans Maybe was cold. Bean, yeah, that beans was the only cold. issue. But like, other than that, everything was good. Um, in, in case you're wondering, like for both of us, it was about what, 60 something. Yeah, um, right, yeah. so we had the beer flight and an appetizer. Uh, so probably would have been closer to like 40 bucks for just the two entrees and a soda. Maybe, yeah, something like that. So 
the appetizer was like 12 bucks, but that was worth it because it was a lot. Yeah. For we probably yeah. could have had, you know, we still have one tomato left yeah. over, and I came even pretty hungry, and I still. Yeah, it was still like 60 everything. something plus. So tip. It was 69 yeah. bucks, so 85 for everything. Uh, so you know, I mean, not it's a bad. little bit on the pricier side, but you know, pricey, but we sat on the sidewalk. Yeah, that's, it was that's a really nice cool. view outside. It was like it was the weather yeah. was great, so you can shoot inside or out whenever you come in. It's up your your it's choice. It's a nice yeah. fall day, yeah. yeah. You know, so we definitely got lucky with the weather. And the sun wasn't in our faces or nothing. <laughs> as it kind of comes out here. So guys, so we paid a little bit for the view. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's I mean, like I said, it's not something that we would do all the time. Once in the right. blue moon, it's nice to like go to a nice restaurant and enjoy and splurge and. And, and, and also because this place isn't a chain yeah so yep. like you're supporting probably somebody local <laughs> so definitely come in to help that like there's a bar louis across the street if you can choose one or the other try to choose one that's not a chain yeah because the, you know the bar louis is not going to miss your business so. okay, come on. but guys let me know in the comments below have you ever eaten at the hangry bison if so let me know or are you planning to eat here i hope you guys enjoy this dining review with us if you do give us a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in the next venture bye